Alrighty, no time to waste. Let's get right to it. Alright, step one, create an empty game object and uh, name it whatever you want. So the next thing you want to do is click on the object, add components. You'll see a parameter called mod directory. Just open a folder, any folder will do. And then what you want to do is right click on the address and then copy address. Then what you want to do is put that copied address into the mod directory parameter. Now, this script, it's quite simple. You can find it on my GitHub, link in the description, as I said. And I'm going to pull it up right here. As you can see, the script really isn't that long. It just takes a directory and then tells the address folders to open a JSON file from it. Now, back in the editor, what we're going to want to do is create a UI object and make sure it's a button. It could be any button, text mesh pro, or normal. Next on our button object, go to the inspector window and scroll down to the onClick function. Add a parameter and drag in the mod and levels object. Then set the function to load mod open mod. Next, click on the window button up at the top. Go to asset management addressables. If you don't have this option, open the package manager. Go to packages and unity registry, open addressables, and then click install where you have remove on my screen. Now, when you go to Windows, Asset Management, Addressables, you should see the options for settings. Make sure Build Path and Load Path are both set to Local. And then Build Remote Catalog and Unique Bundle IDs are both set to True. Asset Management, Addressables, but now go to Profiles. Make sure everything you see here, except for the top, is equal to that of the directory on your load mod script. Now go to Windows, Asset Management, Addressables, Groups. This is going to be the actual contents of the mod and to load it, just simply drag a prefab into the default local group. Set its tag to scene. If you don't have the scene option, go to manage labels, add one, and set it to scene. Now in the inspector, click on your object with the load mod script attached. In the mod directory parameter, add a backslash and then add the name of what you want your mod to be called, followed by .json. This will be the file that is actually loaded into the scene. Now we're ready to build the mod. Go to Window, Asset Management, Addressables, Groups. Then click Build, New Build, Default Build Script. A prompt may come up, just press Save and Continue and let it do its thing. Now, in your mod directory folder, you should see a JSON and a hash file. Rename them both to whatever you had the extension of on your load mod script. So in this case, I would be naming them both the mod with a capital M, and it is case sensitive. Be sure to double check the names are matching because it does matter. Just click on your object with the load mod script and make sure the last part is set to mod. Next, press play. Press our UI button and you will see our modded prefab up here. Go to File, Build Settings, Build, and build wherever you feel. I just build in dot slash build and let it go. Note that your project build does not affect anything. However, the location of your mods must be consistent. Now, launch the game, press the UI button, and you should see our prefab up here. Close the game with Alt F4 to get back into the Unity editor. Next, open our mod prefab and just do anything to edit it. I decided to add a cylinder and move it around a bit. Now 
Next, open our mods folder and to delete all the files so it doesn't get confusing when we make our new ones. Now, go back to Window, Asset Management, Addressables, Groups, and Build once again. Rename the JSON and hash file to whatever you had before. Then relaunch the game. Upon pressing the UI button, you will see our modded prefab. It's important to know that scripts that exist in the main build that do not exist in your mods folder will not work. You cannot add new scripts through an addressable. However, scripts added that exist in both projects will work. So if I were to add, let's say, a rigid body component to one of our objects, it would begin to fall and have physics applied to it in our new build. Materials can be added to an addressable, however they need to be put into the group itself. That's all for this video, I'll probably release a follow up one, incorporating better UI, loading multiple mods at once, and having procedural naming of them. This will also allow for better packaging and descriptions. Hope you learned something from this video, and I'll see you all later.